Volleyball hosts the Courtyard Mayo Classic this weekend. The men's soccer team scored a big win on Wednesday night, and the women's soccer team heads south. We've got all that and more on this week's Friday follow-up with Osprey Sports Network. I'm Catherine Marsh and welcome to the UNF Arena where we're getting ready for the Volleyball Courtyard Mayo Classic. Voice of the Ospreys Richard Miller caught up with Coach Steve Loswick and some of the players to preview the weekend. I'm Richard Miller, voice of the Ospreys, here with head volleyball coach Steve Loswick and coach practice this week after the tournament up in Tennessee. How's it gone this week? It's actually gone pretty well. You know, we had a lot to work on, um, some of our system stuff and uh, a, lot, a lot of our serve and pass and the girls have come in pretty focused and, and got better. We saw this week as well, Defensive Player of the Week for the Atlantic Sun, Kimberly Ferguson. That's going to make this team excited. She played very well last weekend. Yeah, Kimbo's a great kid. You know, she's put in a lot of work this uh, during the offseason and the preseason, and you know, I'm glad that she got the award. You know, she's been doing a good job in the back row for us, and hopefully she keeps it keeps it up. For first time at home this, uh, this season, three matches, uh, two on Friday, one on Saturday. It's a big time now for this volleyball program, but it always feels good to be back at home. Oh, for sure. The girls have been waiting for this, this moment to, to play in front of the home fans and the students here on campus, and they're excited for the teams coming in, and, and it should be a great weekend. Thank you, Coach. Good luck. All right, thanks. Here with Karina Hoff, and Karina, we saw with the four matches last weekend, a great hitting percentage in that first one, two and two over last weekend up in Tennessee. But the hitting percentage, it seemed like the kills, everything was clicking offensively in that first match. Yeah, everyone was getting their feet to the ball, working hard, making sure they were getting around the blocks. So they were able to get a high hitting percentage. I think we had a lot of girls that were around or over for 400 for the match. So that was good. That's really good. What, what about improvements for the team? Because no matter what, if you're in September, October, there are always ways to get better. What did you see on the court? Um, I think this week at practice we worked on blocking, um, passing a couple times. We were passing a little bit tight to the net, so this week we really focused on getting our feet to the ball and passing well. But footwork is always key, as, as we've seen before. Back at home, first match is at home this season at the UNF Arena starting Friday. That's, that's got to feel great. Yeah, it's, it's going to be real good. I think it's going to be a good weekend and a good year for us. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Here with Aaron Edwards. And Aaron, we saw last weekend four matches up in Tennessee. What did you learn not just about your play but about this team's play? I think we should just be more aggressive. I think that was the whole thing. Sometimes we don't go as hard as we should. Just go for it. Be aggressive. We got it. And being up in transition, that's our whole thing. Get off, get back up. That's what we're working on, and it's looking a lot better, especially in practice. And it was great news, not just for Kimbo, but for this team. Kimberly Ferguson named A-Sun Defensive Player of the Week. That's going to be exciting, not just for you, but the way she played in the back row was uh, quite impressive. Oh, yeah, Kimbo makes it easy on us. You know, it's easy to get off and get back up when it's a perfect pass every time. So she did great. So proud of her. Good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Volleyball with three matches at home this weekend, beginning 12 p.m. on Friday. ESPN3 in the Watch ESPN app for your mobile devices. Back to you, Catherine. Men's soccer snagged a big non-conference win over UCF 2-1 on Wednesday night at Hodges Stadium. With me is Alex Gatlin to break down the match. Well, it was a very exciting match where the Ospreys trailed 1-0 up until the 88th minute where they found the equalizer. Oh With two minutes remaining in the first overtime, Milan Kovacs delivered an upper 90 strike to seal the victory. This was a huge victory for the Ospreys, who were on a three-game slide. So what will keep the momentum rolling for the Ospreys? We're really keeping up the pace on offense and also locking down on defense are going to be huge keys for the Ospreys moving forward. Thanks, Alex. Women's soccer is on the road this weekend in Miami at FIU on Friday in Miami on Sunday. They hope to get back into the win column before returning home next week. For all of us at Osprey Sports Network, I'm Catherine Marsh. And I'm Alex Gatlin. Have a great weekend and go Ospreys. Ospreys.